How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a complete anime series unboxing. And it's going to be on a, another Gundam series release, which actually comes out uh, in December. And that is Gundam Seed. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I actually ordered this uh, um, shortly uh, before I did the Naruto Part 1 set. And this came in the same day as that. So here is... Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Collector's Ultra Edition. So yeah, just happened to get this uh, pretty early. Uh, the This is actually set to come out uh, December 1st. Uh, but if you look on Right Stuff, uh, it actually says in stock. So yeah, may, they, they could be possibly uh, shipping them earlier. So yeah, I got it like a month early, pretty much. So here is the box, it is quite tall. And this is a plastic sleeve uh, that comes off, so I'll get to that in a second. Now, I did take out all the contents just so I, it makes it easier for me to hold it. Collector's Ultra Edition. Uh, it's by Right Stuff and Sunrise, who have been releasing all the Gundam series. Alright, so on the front, you have uh, Kira. And then on the back, you have Atherin. So I'm going to go ahead and... Take the sleeve off. Give you guys a better look. Full picture. And then this is what the inside looks like. So the Blu-ray cases go right here. And then the big book goes right here. So. <clears throat> Excuse me, purpin'. Alright. Okay, so. Oh, and then on the bottom here. Almost forgot. Okay, so subtitles are English. Audio, uh, so this does include the original 50 episode TV version and the HD remaster. So they're both Japanese and English stereo. Uh, region A, 13 disc. Uh, HD is 1080p, 16 by 9 HD native. Uh, that was a big thing for uh, the HD remasters. And then the standard def is 480i, uh, 4x3 with the black bars on the sides so okay and now here is the clear sleeve so on the top here you have like the story details and then the middle uh, the very bottom has like the credits people working on it and then this paragraph has all the info so you get the 48 episode HD remaster along with the 50 episode TV version now the new audio tracks that's the English dub so you do get two different versions. So yeah, there is a difference. Because <laughs> uh, I remember hearing, you know, the original TV one and then the remaster was like, wait a minute, that sounds different. <laughs> okay, and then you also get the three uh, special edition uh, movies. That's part of the uh, TV version. Now, digital extras. That that does not mean like a digital code or anything that, that you have to download. That's actually on the disc. That's actually part of the HD remaster uh, Blu-ray set. So yeah, it's not part of the other version. So you have uh, mecha animation, uh, comparisons, uh, in this era, featurettes, uh, epilogue, after phase, and the Valley of Stars, openings and endings. You get a booklet. Uh, you also have theater shorts. And uh, yeah, music videos, all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to set all this off to the side. Okay, so first we're going to look at the Blu-ray uh, cases. So first up we have part one of the HD uh, remaster. And this I remember uh, hearing news about. Uh, cause I only seen like the, um, you know, when it came to, uh, Cartoon Network and, uh, I believe it was on Adult Swim, um, seeing that on there and then, oh, there's a HD version. Oh, okay. And 16 by nine, it was widescreen and, you know, the quality got up to, uh, 1080p. And it looked and, uh, sounded 
pretty good. Uh, there are some differences too with the episodes themselves or like just the series. It's two episodes shorter. Uh, you have like some of the music inserts uh, might be a little bit different or just like maybe the points of the songs are different. Uh, so here is disc one. And I believe they actually went in and changed uh, some scenes and stuff too. There's two and three. There's four, and here is five. And quality is actually really good. Uh, what's, what really helps it is that all the episodes are nice and spread across uh, 10 discs. And the cover is reversible. And there's something with that that I'll get to when I show the TV uh, version case. You see the Strike Gundam and the Archangel on the left. You see Kira and Atherin on the right. And what do you guys think of the uh, the Gundam suits in here? Just uh, you know, all the different uh, you know mech, mecha in general. Uh, you know, feel free to let me know. Uh, what do you guys think of the characters and story? It's pretty much like a um, another version of the original show where Z where uh, Zeon, uh, you know, they go in to observe and they end up attacking, and then you know Kira, you know, gets hold of a suit and starts to fight back. Uh, but in here does like multiple Gundam suits. <laughs> so yeah. And then Gundam Sea Destiny kind of did that also, but I think that's more like Zeta in a way. Yeah. All right. So also with the big thing with this set, if you look on right stuff, uh, the here is part two. It's a pretty cool cover. That's, uh, the strike and the, uh, Aegis or Aegis, uh, Gundam rising out of the rubble. Uh, if you look on there, the only way to get the, or actually, I'll get to that in a second. I'll just show this first. Alright, so there's the spine. And here is the back. Okay. And the cover is reversible, uh, once again. So here is disc uh, six. Here is seven and eight. There is nine and there is 10. So that does it for the 48 episode HD remaster uh, version of Gundam Seed. And then here is the reversible cover. And there was also something um, big with this series when it came out. I think it's the first all digital uh, digitally animated, uh, Gundam series. I want to say it was, uh, I remember that, that was kind of like a big thing. There was something with that. Um, yeah, I remember that being a huge kind of thing with it. So I'll show the two cases, uh, together. And also, uh, you know, action's good, you know, story kind of up and down. Um, the sound is really good. The music Gundam Seed has some really awesome opening and ending themes. Uh, even the insert songs, you know, battle music. Really, really good. Uh, you know, I listen to those songs all the time. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, it was part of like a playlist. So that does it for the HD remaster. And last up for the Blu-rays is the standard definition on Blu-ray uh, or Blu-ray. Blu-ray. <laughs> so it's like the Disco Tech sets. Like I have a, a Fist of the North Star, which is standard def on um, Blu-ray. So that's pretty much what they did. So this is the 50 episode TV series version. And yeah, there is a difference. Like you can tell like some scenes were either cut out or uh, changed up a bit in the remaster from this one. All right, and the cover is reversal. So yeah, all the extras that were listed on that clear sleeve, none of them are on here. It's all on the remaster uh, Blu-rays. So here's disc one, and then here's disc two. So that completes the whole series. It's only two discs. So yeah, it is standard def on Blu-ray, so you can get, you know, you can fit a lot more episodes on there. Uh, quality definitely varies 
uh, you know, because this is like a, I think like the older, this is like the original version. So, but you can tell the difference when you show the, di when you look at the different uh, versions. And then here's the special edition uh, collection. So this is, this is available on standard def. So yeah, it's not available on the HD uh, versions. I'm not sure if there's going to be a vert, going to be edition like that. So uh, here's the cover. Here you see the reverse Kira and Atherin. It's pretty cool. So, all right. So now if you look at the uh, info that it says on right stuff. The only way to get this, um, I think that the original TV series dub pretty much, or I think just to get this whole version of the show in general, you have to get this set. Um, it's either the whole series or just the, I think it was just the whole series and the dub as well. Uh, so yeah, there's kind of a catch, but if you look at the bottom of it, the info, it does say that there is a standard edition that will be coming out soon. So I'm not sure if that's going to include this. So just so you guys are aware, I want to get you guys as much info as possible. So yeah, there's kind of like a thing with that. And I'll show all three. At least that's according to what it says. So yeah, just be aware of that. And this is uh, quite high. It's almost uh, $230. Uh, so, you know, I would definitely probably wait to get it on sale. I think just my thing was, is that I was wondering if it was going to, you know, may sell out kind of quickly. <laughs> so, uh, but luckily, Right Stuff and Sunrise have been pretty good about keeping the, the like Ultra Editions in stock for the most part. So I think we're pretty much good. All right. So last up is the art and data of Mobile Suit Gundam Seed or data. You see like the same picture from earlier just blown up and this is a real nice uh, hardcover booklet all right and then here is the spine i'm not sure this is like a separate book somewhere um yeah i just know that i think this might be unique to this set so here's the back where you have the freedom Taking down the Providence that in the, the final battle. That was a pretty cool shot. And that's another thing with this series. You get a lot of reused footage. Uh, <laughs> that's That was a real uh, kind of big thing that you notice with this show. Uh, a lot of repeat scenes. Uh, the only difference would be like the suits would change and stuff. So here are all the contents, data archives, art gallery, and stuff. All right. So the there is a pullout poster, which is uh, right here. So it's actually on the right. And then what you do is you can just pull it like that. All right. And there is like little dots here so you can literally like tear it out. I just left it in here. Uh, that way it'd be easier to show. And then get some more blown up versions of those pictures from earlier. There are other ones in here. Yeah, there's a good one. Uh, here's some other pictures. So yeah, really cool stuff. And then on the very back, you have, uh, here's another one. I think that's like pro promotional artwork that I saw when this series was coming out. Uh, here you have uh, character and our profiles. And you also get some other ones. And there is some other info here where, uh, oh, there's the uh, mechanics, mobile suits, all the different versions. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, some have like different packs and then you have other uh, different additions too. Okay. And then trying to get to the very, very back. Here you go. So this will give you uh, like some info about like the episodes, you know, who was a screenplay writer, uh, 
when then they start streaming and stuff I think like air dates so this is actually pretty cool get some nice info a lot of people worked on it all right so that does it for Gundam C the ultra edition so I'm gonna show you guys how they all fit in the box here okay so the blu-rays on the top here just kind of slide in all right and this insert uh, does come out so it does kind of make it a little bit easier to fit them in there and then the booklet goes in like that and there they are and then the plastic sleeve uh, protects them now the the blu-ray cases you know they they will like kind of move out uh, like that the booklet's pretty secure so all right all right so let's take those out and then let me display these for you guys here so yeah that does it for Gundam Seed uh, please feel free let me know what do you guys think of this set uh, are you looking to pick it up it is set for December 1st so I just happened to get this uh, you know about a month early which is uh, pretty cool actually you know it's really nice and there it is so yeah feel free to let me know what do you guys think of Gundam Seed in general also uh, so this is just the original first series. So I have a feeling that may Gundam or that maybe uh, Gundam Seed Destiny might get a set maybe like this, or maybe it might be smaller or you know. So it looks like it's gonna get it. It's gonna get its own uh, separate release. Um, and yeah, this is quite high. So what I would probably do is wait till it goes on sale, possibly. Uh, you know, I just pre-ordered it. You know, just wondering just in case it sells out. Pretty quickly. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, burping. <laughs> so feel free to let me know. What do you guys think of Gundam C? Who's your favorite character? Favorite mobile suit? Uh, what's your favorite song? Because there is many to choose from. The openings and endings are great. Really, really good. Story, you know, kind of up and down. Action is cool. Uh, you do have like, you know, repeat footage and stuff. But I think the way they animated it and stuff is really good. Animation is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.